A game consists of spinning an arrow that randomly comes to a stop pointing at one of the numbers number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or number 6 or 7, 8. What is the probability that the arrow will point to let's say the number 2. Now this is like a game of chance where we spin the arrow and then the arrow can randomly come to stop pointing at any one of the eight numbers. So first question is what is the probability that the arrow will point to number two? Well what are total possible outcomes? Total possible outcomes is eight. Outcomes that are favorable to the event. What is our event? Our event is the arrow points to number two. So there is only one possible outcome which is the number two itself. So we say that the probability of arrow pointing to number two is simply one divided by eight. Now let's take a look at the second question, same setup. What is the probability that the arrow will point to an even number? So now our event has changed. Now our event is the arrow pointing to an even number. So what are outcomes that are favorable to our event, even numbers? Well, the number two, number four, number six, and number eight, these are even numbers. So the count of favorable outcomes now is four. So we say that the probability of arrow point to an even number will be simply four divided by eight or one divided by two. Let's take a look at one other example. So same setup again, what is the probability now that the arrow will point to a number which is less than four? So what are outcomes which are favorable to our new event, arrow pointing to a number which is less than four? Well, then in that case, the arrow has to point to the number one or two or three. So we say that our count of favorable outcomes to our new event is three. So the probability of that event will be three divided by eight. One final example. So let's say this time we want to find out the probability that the arrow will point to a number which is greater than 10. So how many outcomes are favorable where our event is number greater than 10? Well, eight is the largest number. So we have no number which is greater than 10. As a matter of fact, we have no number which is greater than eight. So we say that the count of favorable outcomes is zero. So the probability of that event happening is zero divided by eight or simply zero. And we know that we call these events where probability is zero as impossible events.